Now it's time to honor the nation's restaurant news Pioneer Award winner for 2011. This individual is recognized for professional dedication and contributions to the industry, saluted for innovation and creativity, and congratulated for a career filled with success. He joins a lineup of the greatest names in food service, hearkening back to the first award in 1981, won by uh, Colonel Harlan Sanders of KFC. This year's winner, Ron Shake, is well known as a leader who has basically created the industry's popular bakery cafe segment. Um, thank you very much. Um, what was particularly interesting was watching my children at the end. That is um, so much a part of what this is about doing things that uh, they ultimately will see and respect. Um, before I, I, I begin, I'd like to share a little confession. You know, I remember being at, at Muff So in, in earlier years and hearing all kinds of things about heroes of mine receiving this Pioneers Award. So I, I am truly deeply honored to be in the company of people like Carl Karcher, Dave Thomas, and Norm Brinker. In fact, I have to share something with you. I even remember being at the Muff So when Colonel Saunders got that Pioneers Award, that first one. And as I recall, it seemed that the people who got this award for a lifetime of work, they were mostly in their 70s and 80s. You know? One might note also that many of these folks that received this award passed away shortly after they received the award. <laughs> and it's also interesting to note how many of the organizations that they once led ultimately lost their unique positions in the marketplace. Now, I don't know if this award is cursed or not, but I'm here to tell you that for this pioneer at least, my best work is still ahead of me. Indeed, my work is continuing to define how Panera will compete in the future, and in a future that will unfold for all of us in the decade that comes. You know, in that short piece, you credited me with helping to create the bakery cafe category, and indeed, fast casual. The truth is, that all I've done is try to listen and to learn and to try to build hypotheses of what will make a difference in the lives of guests over the long term. I'd, like, I'd now like to thank those people, those manufacturers, those franchisees, those team members of mine, and our friends who believed in Obon Pen first and then Panera when no one believed that anyone was interested in anything other than fast food or fine dining. And I'd also like to thank the people that have been with me for so many years, and especially my present partner, Bill Martin, for the opportunity I've had to figure out what matters to our guests and what makes a difference in the lives of so many people. Before I conclude, I'd like to share with you the message that is central to my work and is the hidden message behind this award tonight. Folks, customers are willing to pay they are willing to pay for food they respect. They are willing to pay for food that's served in environments that engage them. And people are willing to pay for food that they feel respects them. See, value, value is not simply price. It's what you get for your money. Desirability, in fact, lust, lust for that food and that experience trumps low price every day. Indeed, my career and your gift of this award to me is a testament to my belief that huge businesses that can be built based on the quality of the food and the quality of the experience more than price. But to do so, but to do so is really, really hard. It's about giving more than the speech. It requires continual learning, and it requires a business model that provides barriers to entry and a commitment to maintaining long-term sustainable differentiation. Indeed, to create the future of our dreams requires rigidity and vision tied to flexibility in execution. And without it, the world does not need your restaurant nor mine. Thank you.